Let's start with the Asian markets first. Almost all Asian markets are on a two-day gaining streak. This after two of the three major indices in the United States closed with record gains. The tech-heavy Nasdaq 100 led the gains on Wall Street and ended at a 13-month high. Stocks in the United States rallied after Republican Speaker of the House Kevin McCarthy signaled that the two parties were close to reaching a deal on the debt crisis. That's one of the biggest cues from almost all asset classes, including the US dollar, which strengthened against a basket of major currencies. A strong dollar pushes crude oil prices up as the rising dollar makes oil more expensive for importers. Brent trades just above $75 per barrel, but could rally further as recession fears ease over a debt ceiling deal being reached. Precious metals usually they usually lose their Hawkish monetary policy lose their shine when equities rally, but a possible hawkish monetary policy by the U.S. Fed in just in its July outcome, it's pushing gold and other metals up. Gold is close to $2,000 per ounce, while palladium is up 1%. A hawkish policy, that's not good news for cryptos either. Bitcoin is down below the crucial $27,000 mark, while Ethereum is barely holding on to $1,800. Adcoin and Bitcoin Cash are among the top other top losers on the crypto exchanges. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now, get all the news on the move.